Hey, it's the Frugal Travelista here, and I am at the Avondale Flea Market. <laughs> the, Avondale. Aven the Avondale Flea Market. I actually just stumbled upon this place, and so I was walking around, and I came across an awesome booth with some amazing beadwork. And as I was looking around, the proprietor came up and started telling me the story of how he came into business and the awesome work that he's doing. So I'm going to introduce you now, and I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, my, my name is Wellington. Wellington. Wellington is my first name. Okay, nice, yeah. nice to meet you, Wellington. Oh, nice to meet you, too. thing is that we, we, we specialize with beadwork. Uh -huh. We specialize with beadwork and, 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 and wire and, and recycling. Mm -hmm. and this is a work where a group of like eight, about eight to nine people. Mm -hmm. so, so this is all our work. Yeah. This is all our work. Uh, but it's, it's a skill. It's not something that we have gone to school to learn about. But uh, this is something that we have been taught. Uh, some of some of the skill we acquired it from our fathers. These are the ones who used to to make this thing. So they passed to us. Of late, we've been doing like beads and wire, but now we started doing a lot of recycling. And uh, where we use like old waste, like Coca-Cola cans. Mm -hmm. We make things like bicycles and cars, like these DVWs and animals, like those mm -hmm. uh, and ostrich. Because also we, we we were also saying, hey, we may be in Zimbabwe, but we try also to keep at the same pace with the rest of the world. Sure. Because everybody all over the world is saying, let's go green. Mm -hmm. Let's try to, 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 to save our environment. Sure. So we're trying also to pass a message even to people who come and buy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, basically that's, that's what we do. And this is more like our livelihood. Sure. And, 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 and also we're looking at, because like here in, in Zim, mm -hmm. Uh, we also have a big challenge of employment and so forth. So we also have that big picture of saying, hey, because we are looking at, we're seeing a lot of people, they go to school and they're finishing school at times, they don't find something to do. Because not everybody's smart enough to, to, to other people are not that academic. Mm -hmm. And at times when they finish school, it's very hard for them. So we're thinking that maybe we can also try to, to go in schools and work with kids. We may want to learn skills, mm -hmm. how to use their hands. Yeah. And you were saying earlier that some of the people with the skill went to SA. Yeah, mo most of, like here in Zimbabwe, uh, most of the people, especially in, in our trade, in the beadwork, mm -hmm. uh, most of these guys, they've, they've migrated to South Africa. Because also what's happening is that then in, in South Africa, there are a lot of big companies who do wire and beads, and they employ a lot of Zimbabweans. And, and Zimbabweans make beautiful things yeah, and, 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 and they're sending them outside because they have markets there. And, and some of us, some of the team, I think you get a video when you go there. Okay. Some of the guys that used to be in SA, but because they had their wives here also and their kids, uh, we had to make a commitment and say, hey, let's go back home to our, yeah. to our families and maybe do something mm -hmm. also at home. Right. And, 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 and the other thing is also we're saying everybody is going out. Uh, people are, you know, at times because when things are hard in the country, people, people think of running away. Mm -hmm. But we're saying we want to be part of the solution here also. Sure. Maybe we can stay behind and, 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 and in our sphere of influence, in our domain. Mm -hmm. Maybe we, we can do something to, to also make a change. Because we know a lot of people are going to be coming in Zimbabwe, and we would want also people to have a very good impression of our country, sure. and, and and so that people can see what how beautiful Zimbabwe is, and what amazing things we can do here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I saw you when I first walked up. You were actually in the process of doing some beading yourself. Yeah, I was twining some beads. Yeah. What, yeah. what do you call it? Twining. Twining. Yeah. You were uh, twining some beads. Maybe you can come and share. 
Mm. So what happens is so this is how we try in the beat. Because at times it's very hard. So what you do basically is you have to put like uh, different wires, maybe eight to ten wires together. Mm -hmm. And 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 because if you do it one one, it's going to take more time. So you put like that. Then we, you allow the bees to go down. Oh, okay. Yeah. Until all the wires are are full. And these mm. these ones you'll make into a giraffe. Uh, these ones you're making into giraffe, which you, which is like those giraffes. The, the kind of little ones there. Uh, uh, these little ones here. Okay. Yeah, but as you move along, you see because uh, we got a small workshop there with other guys. Yeah, there's so you a... can actually see some of the guys making giraffes. In. Okay. Yeah. And how long is it going to take you to make the giraffe? Giraffe, giraffe. We make like one giraffe. Uh, if we start in the morning, we can make two. Oh, two in two. one day. Yeah, yeah, this size. If we start early in the morning. Oh wow! And, just, and how much do you sell those giraffes for? This one's the starting price is fifteen dollars. Fifteen. Yeah. But uh, yeah, because ours are more like African markets, mm -hmm. so there is room for bargaining. Yeah. yeah so sure. the last price will be like ten dollars. Okay, that's your like lowest. That. Yeah. That's your lowest for those. All right. All right. These are awesome. Is it mostly men who do this work? Yeah, mostly. Uh, mostly men. How come the women don't? But, but, but what happens is that we got a few. Well, some of us are married. Oh, okay. So some, you see, like our our wives at home, they help us with the twining. Oh, I yeah. see. I see. But mostly it's been passed but, from but, men. But, but, but mostly it's men and young kids. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm John the artist. Mm -hmm. I learned this from my uncle. I started making them when I was 14 years old. 14? Yes. Wow. So it means now I'm more experienced, I'm more skilled. Uh -huh. Yes, and I, I enjoy making them. Oh, oh you made that airplane. Yeah. Okay, cool. This is one of my best. Yeah. Flight. And I'm, I'm the best in Harare. The best in Harare. Right. <laughs> the best in all those involved with yes, the airplane. Yes, yes, yes. That's very nice. Yeah, I enjoy making them very much. Mm -hmm. yeah, I wish people would buy more from me so that I would keep on making. Sure. Yeah. Sure. They're lovely. Thank you, yeah. Thank you. So you've been doing this since you were 14? Yes, yeah, since I was 14. Do you, did you teach anyone else how to do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have some young guys in my, in my village. Where is your village? Is it far? Yeah, it's 35 kilometers away. Ah. So I come here every day, you see. You, you come here every day? Every day, yeah. To do this work? To do this work. Oh. I love my work very much. Oh, good. That's How long does it take you to make an airplane? Uh, it takes like a, a day and a half. A day and a half? Yes, because it's got different shapes. Yeah, yeah it's... So you need some measurements as well. Right, longer, yeah. longer than the draft. Yeah, so to make it turn like this, some measurements. Yeah. So you have to be accurate, because otherwise it won't move. Right, right. Yeah, so it takes time. Yeah, so absolutely. Did you create that design or did you learn from someone? Yeah, my brother used to, my uncle used to make, but this is my design. Oh, that's your design. Yeah, oh. it's different from my uncle's. So people need to come and buy these from you because yes, you exactly. are the one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, that's I awesome. people to enjoy what I do. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. He's making Ch the chickens. Chickens, yeah. yeah. Out of uh, Coca, out of Coca Cola cans. Okay, these are lovely. They're made out of Coke cans. Yeah, different types. Yeah, of Fanta. Ah. You know, pets. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Wonderful. You Wonder attract a lot of bees. Also. I, <laughs> I was just seeing that. Yeah, I yeah. see the bees. Are you the best in Harare at these? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right now. <I'm laughs> and how long does it take you to make a chicken? Mm, I think three hours. Oh, three not bad. Yeah. yeah. Because huh? the, there's a lot of processes that we do. Yeah. So. It's a okay. common thing. Uh, it's a common thing. Just like this. Huh? Remove this top. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you keep going. Mm 
then after mm, for me to make this style then I start doing like this huh? oh you wrap it around the wire <laughs> oh man <laughs> that's how what how we do oh we come up with the the wire you just use the wire to twist yeah, it yeah 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 oh. Okay. Yeah, I see. <laughs> That's very talented. Yeah. And come up with the, the yeah. So when you sell these, does like let's say you sell a chicken, does the yeah. money go only to him or does it go to the group? It goes to the group. Oh, good. Yeah. So everybody contributes. Everybody. What usually happens is that we we set like certain numbers for ourselves. I want to do this number. Mm -hmm. So what happens is that we. Because because we sell other things different than these, mm -hmm. so at times when someone when someone makes something, mm -hmm. we when we sell something else that's not that, mm -hmm. we take a portion of the money. Like today we are here, most of us are here. Okay. So whatever we sell there, mm -hmm. we can take part of the money. Then then we give it to I give it to the guys. The guy, uh, because most, most of these guys are married, uh, and their families also. Yeah. yeah, and this is their living too. And this is this is their living too. Oh, wonderful! Yeah. That's wonderful. So we're saying rather than rather than it being something for one family, right? It can be something for more families. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. That's a wonderful vision to have. Yeah. Anything else you want to say on the video? Uh, yep. By any chance, if you come in Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. uh, please come visit us at our shop and, and see what we're making and, and support us. We hope that we can find people outside there who may be willing to, to buy some of our things also, even to to sell there also. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> sure. All right. So the Frugal Travelista here at the Avondale Flea Market at the Beadwork booth. Come here. It's at the very end of the market. It's one of the last booths, and you can see it's the only one that I've seen so far selling the beadwork. And so, if you've come to the market and you've not seen this booth, then you've not gone far enough. All right, Frugal Travelista here, over and out. Uh, and thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs>